Acute mesenteric ischemia occurs when there is an interruption of blood flow to the intestines by embolism, thrombosis, or a low flow state, ultimately leading to intestinal infarction. The first subtype is arterioembolic mesenteric ischemia, most commonly arising from a cardiac source. Potential proximal causes include atrial tachyarrhythmias, valvular lesions, or proximal aneurysms. The SMA is most commonly affected because of its oblique origin from the aorta, and thromboemboli often lodge in the proximal SMA just distal to the takeoff of the middle colic artery. This creates a classic pattern of ischemia that spares the first portion of jejunum and part of the colon. Atheroemboli tend to lodge more distally, creating segmental areas of ischemia. The second most common cause is acute arterial thrombosis superimposed on pre-existing atherosclerotic disease. These patients are symptomatic of chronic mesenteric ischemia prior to the event, including a history of postprandial abdominal pain, weight loss, and food intolerance or fear. The SMA is involved from its origin, and ischemia is more confluent. Non-occlusive mesenteric ischemia is due to mesenteric vasospasm resulting in a low flow state from any kind of shock or use of vasoconstrictors and often seen in patients with severe cardiac failure. Finally, mesenteric venous thrombosis, most commonly the SMV, can lead to decreased venous outflow, edema, and decreased perfusion of the small intestine. The classic presentation is pain out of proportion to exam findings and can occasionally be accompanied by sudden valley evacuation. If a history of abdominal angina, food intolerance, and weight loss are present, this would suggest an acute on chronic presentation. Labs may be nonspecific, but patients are often acidotic and dehydrated, reflected by potential hemoconcentration, leukocytosis, and metabolic acidosis with an elevated anion gap. A CTA of the chest, abdomen, and pelvis is a definitive diagnostic study and will detect arterial filling defects, signs of bowel ischemia, and potential proximal causes. Ultimately, the goal is to restore mesenteric blood flow and resect non-viable bowel. This is best accomplished in a hybrid operating room, and depending on the extent of disease, an SMA embolectomy or bypass is performed. Bypass choice can include a retrograde bypass from the right common iliac or infrarenal aorta, or an antegrade bypass from the supraceliac aorta, depending on the suitability of inflow vessels.